Well, we are less than 24 hours away from the Perseverance rover landing on Mars. On board the lander are two microphones, one to record the landing and the other to listen to the rocks. Meteorologist Anthony Annas has that story, plus how we would sound on the red planet if the microphones recorded us. The cliche is third time's a charm, and the Mars rover Perseverance is hoping the third try works. Two other Mars landers attempted to listen to the red planet, but both microphones failed. Perseverance has on board two microphones. Let me show you where they are and what they're used for. The first is on the left side of the rover. It's called the EDL, Entry, Descent, and Landing. It will record the landing, listening to the friction of the atmosphere and the winds. It's made of store-bought hardware, so it's not expected to last beyond impact with the planet. Now, the second mic is a lot more sophisticated. It's attached to the SuperCam. A laser on the SuperCam will zap small areas of rock in search for organic compounds that would give evidence of past life on Mars. The microphone will listen to the intensity of the sound the rock creates when hit by the laser. This sound would tell scientists where the rock was formed and how much pressure was in that formation. Now, here's the question. If you were on Mars and the Perseverance recorded you, how would you sound? Now, of course, you don't want to be hit by that laser, but how would you sound? This is kind of interesting, I think. There's a lower temperature on Mars, especially at night, well below 100 degrees, so that would lower the speed sound travels. Mars density is a lot less dense than the Earth, so that would quiet the sound. The atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide, so it's actually hard to hear high-pitched sounds. So you would sound a little muffled on the red planet, almost like we're listening to you through a big, thick wall. But it starts with listening to a landing on another planet, and that's Thursday. All right, and you can watch the landing live on NBCLA.com and on the NBCLA app when it happens on Thursday. That's tomorrow. That's set for 12.55 in the afternoon.